Hi everybody! Are you looking for a fun and creative way to practice your drawing skills? Then you are at the right place. In this video, I'll show you an interesting and fun way to study an eye in a very easy and accessible manner. So let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to my next video. If you want to know how to make a face, go back to my previous video. If not, stay tuned. So in this video, I'm covering the topic of an eye. It has very similar pattern just like the face. The eye has two lines, vertical and horizontal. Again, imagine the line as a band on a sphere. The movement of the sphere will also make changes in the direction of the line. And that is how the center of the sphere, that is pupil, will change into a bit curved shape. You have to follow these few little tips. This trick is very similar to the one on the face. The horizontal line will change as you look up or down and the vertical line will change its position if you look sideways. After getting the position correct, we are going to start making the eyelid. It will start from this corner to another covering a bit of pupil. This is what is holding your eye in the socket. As you change the position or the direction of the eye, simply try to meet the two points, allowing at some place little or no eyelid showing. This means not only the eye movements are changing, but sometimes the viewer's direction are also changing. And please remember, in the eyelid also, the curves are going to change according to the horizontal lines. If you are looking down, the curve will be downward. If you are looking up, the curves will be upward. Eyelashes in perspective too. See how the direction of that changes as per the curve and how when it reaches the middle, it changes. The eye always looks incomplete if the shading is not done because shadow also plays a very important role. For example, when you are making an eye, the eyelid shadow covers most of the eye and makes it look deeper. So it is very important, even if you don't shade anything else, shade the eye, otherwise it looks a bit comical or cartoonish. If you have any questions related to anatomy, leave a comment. Thank you everyone for watching Mandy Taves. Stay tuned, more anatomy videos are coming up.